On this webisode of American Scooter, we're getting to work on Gonzo's Cannonballer. Gonzo plans to compete in the 2012 Scooter Cannonball, and we decided to build him a scooter for it. It's a bit of a Franken-scoot. It's a 58 frame that he picked up on scoot.net. It has a P headset. It's got a custom fork from SIP and a motor that we built from spec with parts all from SIP. We're building this thing from the ground up, and there's a lot of fabrication on it. Everyone in the Scoot Coop has had their hands on this scooter. We've gotten a call from the service center in Fayetteville, Arkansas that our bus is ready to be picked up. So we've got to leave work for Gonzo's Cannonballer for another weekend. And I'm flying from New Orleans to Fayetteville to pick up the bus and drive her home. Here we are, leaving uh, Springdale, Arkansas. Second attempt to drive the bus home. Uh, let's hope we make it. When I got on the road, everything seemed fine at first. But of course, I got a few hundred miles down the road, and wouldn't you know it, I started having trouble. I managed to limp it into another service center in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. When I got into the service center in Pine Bluff, it was closed. It was on a Saturday. There was nobody there, but I did manage to make friends with a stray dog in the parking lot. Ironically, in the yard, there was another prison bus from the Arkansas Department of Corrections. I ended up calling Budget Rent-A-Car to book a rental to get back home. But when I got to the store, it was just my luck. Nobody was there. A few calls into Budget, though, and I was on the road. We're, we're going to be going over the causeway. Um, to, people will pass you on the left. It's not a big deal. I've done it 20 times. There is a metal grate. Don't fight it. If you've ever gone over a metal grate, you just kind of just ease over it. So it's important to kind of ride single file at that point in case the guy next to you kind of swerves single file. And uh, we'll be stopping at a gas station right over the bridge to get, get back together. Then we're just going to ride through the countryside. So there's a lot of turns. The road might be a little slick. Leave each other enough room, don't ride right next to somebody, and uh, maybe single file every now and then the road's getting really wavy. That's, that's really it. We got waiting on maybe a couple more people and then we'll saddle up and go so we can get ready to ride. Yeah. You want to be a hot dog. Take off. While the second attempt to pick up the bus went belly up, we didn't have any time to harp on it, because the very next weekend, it was time for the Big Easy Weekender 5. And it was time to get to work, putting on the most kick-ass rally around. Uh, rides, we're going to start lining up around 11 o'clock. Like I said, there are two rides today to choose from, one uh, led by the, uh, the Ruckus guys and one led by the Scooter Girls. Everyone had a great time, from the Friday night meet and greet at Chicky Wawa, the incredible rides, the nighttime gymkhana at the pit stop, and the raffle and breakfast that followed Sunday morning at McGuire's. I don't think a single person in attendance could doubt that this was the best Big Easy Weekender ever. We heard a lot of comments like, best rally ever and epic, and I got a lot of hugs and thank yous from people said this was the best rally they had ever been to. In fact, we had so much fun putting it on that 
I actually forgot to document most of it and didn't shoot a whole lot of video while the event was going on, so here I don't actually have a lot to show you. And that's kind of unfortunate, but you know what? If you missed it, you definitely missed the rally of the year. But the best thing that you can do to never let that happen again, well, it's to come back to New Orleans for the Big Easy Weekender 6. Have fun scooting out there, everyone. We'll see you at the next rally. Mamma mia, è stupenda!